What is up, Underdog LPs? My name is Mike. That is how you pronounce my YouTube name, Mike1217. And I'm gonna play some Donkey Kong Country 2 Days Conquest for you. This is a game that I have a lot of history with. Uh, this is probably my most played video game ever. I got it back in 1995, Christmas of 95, which is the year it came out. Um, and this is my virtual console file here. Uh, strangely enough, I only have 100%. It's supposed to be 102. I have all the DK coins, beating all the levels. Done everything you need to do to get 100%, but for whatever reason, it's not 102. It happens to me every now and then, playthroughs of this game, is I'll get 100%, but it won't show 102, which is, which is what it's supposed to do. Just a weird glitch, but anyway, uh, in this video I'm going to be playing uh, a Bramble Scramble, which is probably my favorite level of the game, mostly because it is a nice mix of uh, atmosphere and gameplay. Oh, what the hell, how did I get hit there? I did not get hit, I refuse to believe that. But anyway, uh, you know, it has a nice balance of difficulty, it's not too difficult, but it's also not too easy. It's difficult enough to keep you interested, and also it has Sticker bru Brush Symphony, which many consider to be the best song in this game, which I agree, I think this is the best song in this game. don't think it's the best in this series, I would give that to Aquatic Ambiance from uh, the first game. I actually did a top 10 list, my top 10 favorite songs from the original trilogy of the Doctor of Country series, and uh... Sticker Brush Symphony, this song was number two in Aquatic Ambience. The water music from the first game was number one. But yeah, most of this level revolves around uh, navigating through these bramble segments and squawks, the parrot. And I did skip a bonus stage that I would have shown to you, but since I lost Diddy early on, uh, you need both Kongs to get it because you have to get the. Uh, Invincibility Barrel in order to get to it, and you need both the Kongs that you get the Invincibility Barrel. So yeah, probably won't be showing you the bonus stage, but oh well. I would like to, but what can you do? Anyway, yeah, this game is a- I have a huge history behind this game. Again, probably my most played game ever, uh, and because of that, this is probably the game that I know the most. And I have done a Let's Play of this game. It was my first ever Let's Play. And it was done on an emulator and uh, kind of crappy quality. I mean, it was my first time doing a Let's Play, so, you know, can't really expect much, but, uh,. It's definitely a game that I'm considering redoing, because I'm, I'm always willing to play this game and do a playthrough of it. And uh, I believe this game deserves better justice than what I gave it on my first Let's Play. Again, it wasn't bad for a first Let's Play, but I think I can do better with this game. And here, this is, where you, this is how you get the DK coin, you go through the brambles here. You can, it's marked by bananas, so you know that. And again, I've gotten everything, so it's all checked off. And I'm going to try to show you the uh, three up balloon. One of the very rare three up balloons I'm doing a bad job of getting to. Taking me forever. Oh, it is kind of tricky to maneuver these web platforms around, but with that banana marks, it's a three up blue balloon. There are very few of those in this game, but yeah, they're worth three lives. And I'll just keep on going here. And if you go through this segment, you're skipping a somewhat difficult barrel segment. So if you don't want to go through that, you can always do this. I find this part to be a little bit easier than that. Though it's not too much of a difference. But anyway, yeah, this is a this game was a Christmas gift for me in 1985. And what kinda goes with the whole huge history this game has with me, this is definitely the first game where I experienced sequel anticipation. We all as gamers, we all know what that's like to have have big anticipation for a sequel to a game that you really liked, which of course I really liked Donkey Kong Country, the first game. And uh, you know, we all know what it's like to be super excited for a sequel, and I remember as a kid seeing pictures of this game, 
before it came out in Nintendo Power, and, be, and that's my first time ever being exposed to it. And really, Nintendo Power was the best way to get exposed to games back then. And, uh, I remember just being super excited when I saw those pictures, and, uh, as imme I immediately asked my mom to get this game for Christmas, and voila, that is what we got for Christmas, and I was super excited. And really, this getting this game for Christmas was the first time I experienced that kind of Christmas joy, I guess you can say, of getting a Christmas gift that you really, really want. Because I can't really remember anything before getting this game in 1995 that had me super excited to open it up. So yeah, this this game is just has a lot of nostalgic value for me, a lot of sentimental value. It it really is a huge part of my childhood. And uh, wow, I'm already done with the level. That was quick. I, there's a lot more that I really wanted to say. I'm tempted to do another level, but I think I'm just gonna stop with that. So, this has been Mike with 2 and 7 showing off Bramble Scramble of Donkey Kong Country 2. And if you want to check out my channel, you can go ahead. I'm currently doing Let's Plays of Super Mario Galaxy 2 and Pokemon Red version. Both of those Let's Plays are on the home stretch, so they're almost finished. So, yeah, if you want to go check those out, you can go over to my channel if you want. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you around. Peace.